As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, children, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, children, let's go Good morning and welcome. Tomorrow is Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. As we remember his life and the sacrifices he made, we realize that there is still work to do as this country still struggles with voting rights. So I ask, what does it take to have courage to create a community and a world where all belong as he dreamed? And so at ACC, we remember that no matter who you are and where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. Let us worship God together. Amen. Hear these gathering words for today. The Spirit of God is upon us. We are called to be God's people. The Spirit of God is upon us. We are called to be the body of Christ. Come, let us worship God who binds us together in love and in service. Gonna lay down my sword and shield Down by the riverside Down by the riverside
study world war war ain't gonna study If you have a gratitude to share with the ACC community, please comment below so we all can know what you are thankful for in this new year. I'd like to offer gratitude for our current moderator who presided over her last meeting on Thursday. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's grateful to Linda for her service to Arlington. Thank you so much. A reading from Psalm 36, verses 5 through 10. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike. O Lord, how precious is your steadfast love. O God, all people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your salvation to the upright at heart.
Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is tomorrow. I'm having a difficult time this week, reconciling with the evil in the world, with the love I know in God, and my desire to not judge people. I can't understand how those who serve the people, all the people, according to the Constitution of the United States, could work to prevent anyone from their right to vote. Why? Why is this country still grappling with voting rights? Will you join your heart with mine in prayer? Holy love, holy God, holy one, the promises of love are pure. Come, spirit of love, dwell in our hearts. Open our eyes to see you, open our ears to hear you, and open our hearts to feel your presence. In Christ's name, amen. Our psalm today is a response to the Hebrew Bible passage in today's lectionary. In Isaiah 62, those who would have heard this text in the ancient world were in a situation that didn't look like the salvation God promised to this covenant people. God appears to be silent in the evil they are experiencing. The prophet has called God to task. Where are you, God? You promised us salvation. In Psalm 36, the psalmist describes human wickedness. It says, transgression speaks to the wicked, wicked deep in their hearts. There's no fear of God before their eyes. For they flatter themselves in their own eyes that their iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of their mouths are mischief and deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and do good. They plot mischief while on their beds. They are set on a way that is not good. They do not reject evil. I can't judge the evil. I can judge the evil that people do. Evil that springs forth from the heart. A heart that fails to act wisely and do good. This evil is juxtaposed with God's goodness. We wouldn't know God's goodness without evil. We wouldn't know what the love of God can do without experiencing hatred in the world. This does not excuse bad behavior and we can't focus on the negative. Robert Hummel said in his blog today about the voting rights bill, Thursday was a hard day. And we should not pretend otherwise. There's no room for false bravado or feigned cheer, but neither should we entertain exaggerated visions of doom or surrender to defeatism. Every successful civil rights bill was preceded by years of setbacks. Like our predecessors in the struggle for civil rights, we must recognize the difference between temporary setbacks and final defeat. He said, we will prevail. There are two realities in terms of our faith, the evil and God's love, which is more profound and impacts the world in deep and meaningful ways, even to those who don't believe. This love is for everyone, even to those who do evil. This is the character of a loving God. Listen, how precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life and your light we see light. We can't give up the fight for justice. Even when discouraged, even when it looks like evil will win, now is the time for us to act out our faith. Time to fight for good so all of God's creation knows they are welcomed in this country. Welcome to live free, welcome to prosper, welcome to be happy and enjoy the rights and privileges of being an American citizen. While evil runs amok, we will examine our own behavior. 
we will hold it up to the light of Christ, who has shown us an example of how to live together and live in this world. We will profess our faith in praise. We will profess our faith in prayer and action. My friends, God's justice will prevail. Love will win, as there is power in love. Amen. Join me singing, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. We come to the time in our worship where we would share our celebrations and concerns with one another face to face here in the sanctuary. So if you have a prayer request or a celebration to share, please email me. I want to know what's on your heart, the good and the bad. My contact information is on the ACC website. Will you join your heart with mine in prayer? Oh, holy love, we give you thanks, we give you praise, and we give you worship. I thank you for this community and their desire to fight for a just world for all of us. Bless and give increase to those things they are committed to for your glory. May those we serve know your steadfast love, and they know your welcome in this beloved community and in this country. We pray for those in need. Supply them with what they need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Continue to show us how to be the hands and the feet of Christ for this community to impact our world. We pray for the leadership of our country. Give them wisdom. Give them courage so we all can live free and in peace. I lift up those in this community of faith who are sick, who are struggling with loneliness and grieving the death of a loved one. You know the hearts and minds of your creation, O oh God, even before we ask. Send your healing, bring peace, bring your presence, surround them with your love and comfort those who grieve. And we remember to give you praise. In Christ's name, amen. And now we pray as Jesus taught us. Our creator who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends of God, 
Who we are and yet becoming as individuals shows God's presence in the world. The divine presence is reflected even more fully, powerfully, and transformatively as we unite in this beloved community. Let us bring ourselves, our gifts, and our resources together that God may be glorified. You are welcome to mail your gifts to ACC or give online. Will you join your heart with mine in prayer? Oh God, we commit to use all our gifts in the service of acting as stewards of your creation with you and each other for peace and justice in your world. In Christ's name, amen. to this hymn, uh, Bring Many Names, was written by Carlton Young, who was a United Methodist composer. The words to the hymn were written by Brian Wren, and each verse reminds us that God encompasses all genders and all ages. Join me singing, Bring Many Names. Close. 
closer yet than breathing everlasting home hail and hosanna great living god just to share some announcements with you in the coming weeks. Tomorrow is Lynn Gardner's stretch and movement class at 11.30 on Zoom. And I have to tell you, it's a great class and we had a lot of fun. Checking in and reaching out is on Tuesday with Reverend Barry Kamer from 11 to 11.45. What a blessing that is to the community. And then next Sunday after worship is the annual meeting at 11 o'clock, which will be held on Zoom. Some things we have to do, we have to approve the budget for 2022, elect council members for 2022, and consider a bylaw amendment to allow virtual confidential voting in the future if we need it. And also to recognize the leaders of 2021. All Zoom events, all Zoom links are available on the website or in the Periscope. Friends of God, let's go forth to celebrate and be the radiant hope needed in the world. May we experience God rejoicing over us and with us. Let us go forth confident that unconditional love will have the last word. And may the peace of God and the joy of God and the love of God be with you all now and forevermore. Amen. Okay. 